How's it going, gamers? I am the Maple Warlock, yes, the Maple Warlock, and it's time for another daily report. Boop. Oh, look, there's people showing up in my camp. Without further ado, let's get into it, and hopefully I just get left alone here for a minute. We have complete the event back on the beat, well, in a cop uniform and cap. Back on the beat uh, starts here in Morgantown. When you show up randomly, it's not the one at Mama Dolce's, it's the one up the street that you gotta do with Steelheart, if you don't know. And if you don't, then you don't know who Steelheart is either. But he's a robot in Morgantown. You stare at him up and follow him around. Cop suits. You get one as a reward for doing some of the responder quests. If not, there's a little camper trailer in the backyard of the Morgantown airport that uh, so usually has one in it. And if you go over to Mononga, there's a police station in town that it also has a usually has a couple cop uniforms hanging around in it. They're kind of a trick to find, but when, if, if you know where to look, they're not super difficult to find. A craft alcoholic beverages, that's pretty easy to do. I say, but you know, is it is it really? Pick your favorite of the ones you know how to make. I am just remembering now that I don't have green thumb on, so I usually run up and down the river here because you can see there's like, there's some blood leaf and there's some glowing fungus. It's hard to see right now because the sun's up, but believe me, there's glowing fungus that grows along this river here too. Mostly it's the blood leaf, and then just make some new river red ale, it being one of the fun ones because the hawk screams every time you drink one, and it's it's just funny. Anyway, yeah, pick your favorites. If you don't know how to make the fancy ones, beer is also a cheap and easy one to make. I'll even check the thing here real quick. Like, wine's kind of tough because you need tarberry, and there's only a couple places you can get that easily. As far as these go though, like the simple ones that you know from the start, like whiskey's pretty easy as long as you got corn and razor grain. And absolute worst case scenario, beer. Beer is really easy to make because you only need 10 corn and 20 razor grains. So with green thumb, that's only five corn and 10 razor grain that you need to pick from. So if you have a nice little garden like me, then you got all kinds of that stuff. Anyway, rambling, we're dragging this out. Kill a Wendigo in the Wendigo cave. Wendigo Cave is over here in the Savage Divide, just off the road between the Atlas's, Atlas Observatory and Top of the World, near the Sludge Hole and the Seneca Gang Camp and Autumn Acre Cabin. He's in the back. Sometimes you gotta wait because he like drops from the ceiling or whatever when you get to the final room. There's a couple cheeky ways to get through there. If you've got a marsupial or a jetpack, you can jump up through the back door because it's up high. And then just sneak in through and you only have to get through past a couple ghouls. Otherwise, there are some Mirelurk kings and some other high-level Mirelurks. You may have to contend with to get through to see it. Get through to him. Killing a Yagwai while wearing a Mr. Fuzzy hat. We'll do a little testing, but as far as I know, you got to wear the yellow hard hat with Mr. Fuzzy on the side of it. You can get one from either turning in tokens at the Camden Park. Or you can get one if you go to... Do do ba do 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 do. If you come here to the Quarry X3, there's a porta potty that it's sitting on the floor in the porta potty. And yeah, the Yagwais are pretty. There's a few simple ones to find. There's one up at the Battlefield Cemetery in the back. There is always one over at the what is it? Dolly Sod's Wilderness Cabins. There are Yagwai around. You, they're not super difficult to find. Level up well, uh, sunglasses, asylum uniform and hat, white spring, all that good stuff. Wielding a sword, just do what it, pick whatever. And revive six players in nuclear winter. Those are those. Good lord, that took forever to open. So anyway, got 23 hours now on the white crocodile camera paint and the vault tech paint set for your combat armor. Is it combat armor or all the armors? Just your combat armor. So vault tech combat armor. White crocodile paint for your camera. It looks like it may also make the lenses. No, it doesn't make the lenses fancy. I thought it made the lenses fancy too. So it's possibly 23 hours to a day on the pirate hat, another day on the football uniform and the Grafton High track suit, two more days on Manta Man and Grognak, three more days on the Inspector and the Silver Shroud, and four days on the Sniper Outfit, the Camouflage Paints, and the Arctos Excavator Paint. Four more days on the Unstoppables bundle and the Wasteland Walker. Uh, the Mr. Fu oh, the Mr. Fuzzy icon is on sale for the next 23 hours, so it's or for the, well, the next day, I guess. It's only 75 atoms. That's cool. 
And then we got some other stuff coming up. Four more days on the Stars Bundle and the Explorer's Backpack. Four more days on the Revolutionary and Survivalist Bundles. And still no idea why Green Thumb's still up other than it's Green Thumb. And we're getting ready for the vault to open next Tuesday. It looks like it's going to be all full of plants and shit, so that'll be cool. And yeah, anyways, that's that's that. So that's going to be it for today's uh, little video. I'm all gustied up here and ready to go level up because I'm right on the verge and haven't leveled up in like two weeks because I've just been kind of dragging my heels. So may go do that and then get my video updated. Anyway, I'm rambling. Good luck with your adventures and your challenges, guys, and I will see you all tomorrow. Be good. Don't cheat. Cheers. A massive thank you to Texas Weeds for supporting the channel. It, it, it makes my black little heart all a flutter. Thank you. Thank you so much, my dude. Keep on keeping on.